I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Friday morning, the 20th of January, the year 2023, and this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 18, Paul says, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. What a beautiful scripture. The power of the cross. Do you remember that old hymn? Oh, friends, what a beautiful hymn written by that famous hymn writer Isaac Watts. It goes something like this. And when I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but loss and poor contempt on all my pride. And verse 2 goes like this. Were every realm of nature mine, my gift was still, it would still be far too small. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. The power of the cross defeats death, it defeats sin. The cross, it cleanses us, purifies us, makes us new, gets us rid of self. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. The life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. What a promise. The old man is dead. <laughs> the new man is born. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. What a beautiful experience. The weight has been lifted off my back. That 50 kg bag of cement of condemnation and guilt has been taken off my back. I'm not carrying it anymore. Worry, uncertainty is gone. The responsibility belongs to Jesus. As a young man, I used to worry so much about that crop of maize, which was our sole income. A young man with a big family of five children to look after. And one day walking through that green crop of maize, worried about the hail, the Lord reminded me, it's my crop, Angus. I will look after it. You just serve me. I have never forgotten that experience. The penny dropped. It's not about me. It's all about him. Have a wonderful day today. Jesus bless you and goodbye.